guys, I hope you all are doing good. Sorry if I'm up in your face like this. I actually forgot my little mic at home, so I was going to do a bit of vlogging, but I actually have a ton of clips from last weekend, so I'll run a few of those, but I just finished clearing that cool section out behind me there, you can see. It's got a kind of a natural rollers. It's really cool, actually. So I cleaned that out with the chainsaw this morning. And yeah, let's get a few shots of that, so it should be fun. Stick around. So I kind of got that one trick thing down where you do a nose wheelie, actually it would be a stoppy. I did a nose wheelie how to on in my enduro lessons so check that out if you haven't. But anyways, it's more like a nose uh, stoppy where you come to a complete stop and then you throw your hips into it and the bike comes around. So I was watching that on YouTube the other day and I figured I could probably do that so I'll show you what I did. To get it to come around like that, it really matters on the terrain. You know, if it's going downhill, then the bike comes around pretty easy. I would recommend learning a stoppy before you do that. So, you can do that on any, any enduro bike too. It doesn't have to be a trials bike. All you do there is just get a little bit of speed, come to a complete stop, and then you fall down. And then the idea is to not touch the ground, it's to ride away. So. Once you get that down pretty good, then you can start throwing your hips into it whichever way you want to go. So, yeah, I hope that helps some of you guys. I know that doesn't look steep on the camera, nothing ever does, but trust me, that's gnarly. Oh yeah, loving it, loving it, loving it. All I gotta say, you guys, if you don't have a trials bike, get, get one in your budget or start saving or do something because I'm a lifelong motorcycle addict. I have been for like four decades. Yeah, I just kind of dated myself there, but. But, I mean, this is super new to me. That's why I'm a little overly excited. But with a group of guys, you can see how fun this will be. You know, guys can help spot. Then you can really try some, you know, get out of your comfort zone and not worry about getting too, too hurt because that's kind of the idea of trials. That's why they call it observe trials. The guys watch each other. I almost forgot to mention one tip I learned, you guys, and that's actually I do it with my enduro bikes. And what I do is move your clutch lever as close as you feel comfortable to the triple clamps and that that way you get the most leverage you know you're on the end of your clutch lever so of course there's more leverage of the farther out you are so like I find that I'm using the clutch all day on a trials bike like it's all clutch so and I use one finger to do that so to avoid wearing your finger and your wrist out just get the most leverage you can by moving it over so yeah just a quick tip
got to kind of clean up there nice and neatly and do a hop from that. Well, sort of a hop. I think it's within our. Uh, I think it's within our skill set. I'm confident on this one. Yeah. Very flipping cool. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna give this. Still want to go here, I think. Holy, like a billy goat. I was sketchy on my 300. I did actually do it, but that's craziness. I love it. Let's we'll see what else we can find up in this area. Man, the lines you can pick, like what you can go up with not too much effort is pretty crazy. So yeah, very cool stuff, you guys. Sorry if the audio is a little weird. Like I said, I forgot my mic, so, and it is a little windy today, so hopefully it comes through okay. But I appreciate you guys watching everything. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, share whatever I learn with you guys, you know, as I learn it. That way I don't forget it, so, or forget to show you guys. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And there, beside the subscribe button, there's a little bell icon. I didn't even know about that little bell. That gives you an immediate, you know, when I upload a video, it tells you immediately when I do it. So hit both of those and hit the old like button and check out the description below. That's the little drop down arrow that has my social media and my Patreon account. You know, if you guys want to chip in a buck or two and buy me a beer or something for making all these videos, that's cool. If not, they're always free on YouTube. So yeah, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.